If you want to know how to make a similar game like Cat Knife Ability Test on Roblox, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys, and welcome back to this banger video on my channel. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be continuing the Cat series. It took me quite a while because I have some epic video ideas. This is a corner. Anyways, this is cat, cat part 2. We're gonna try and make some things such as uh, I'm trying to make a spectating mode. So if you're in the game, you cannot spectate But if you're out of the game, you can along with a uh, giving a knife system and Maybe something more I even forgot that's very embarrassing Anyways, if you're new to the channel make sure to like and subscribe because you'll be an epic gamer Everyone's supposed to be that you know because everyone wants to be an epic gamer. Anyways, let's continue. If you want to become a member, make sure to click the blue join button down below. I know it's a mistake on that. So we should continue on. So first of all, you have your game. Make sure to watch part one first. So get a replicated storage. If you add in a folder and you rename it to tools and you search for knife in the toolbox, you can get the first one, knife. Put this tool in starter pack, no. Now drag it into tools. And that's it. Now you want to go to your minigame handler and over here at line over here when the player is getting teleported game I'm gonna click this away game dot replicated storage dot tools dot knife colon clone dot parents is equals to players I with square brackets colon wait for child backpack so what we're doing is if you're getting teleported you'll get immediate knife Oh, what you can do, because everyone gets teleported randomly, you may add, like, a one-second detection for that. Now, at the bottom, over here, for I equals one players in game do, we're gonna get resetted. So, before we, f before you get resetted, we're gonna remove your knife. So, if, um, let's see, okay, so what we're gonna do over here, if player, colon, find, oh, wait for a child, Backpack colon find first child knife then so if you have a backpack and a knife then PLR dot backpack dot knife colon destroy else player uh, well print player does not doesn't have a knife so let's test that out real quick and I'm gonna set my intermission time to like three because we want to test it out I almost clicked my game away. That was uh, very embarrassing. As we join the game, it's gonna oh zero round starting. Map four, we get teleported, and after a second, we get enough. Yep, after a second, we get enough, and now we can murder people. Yeehaw! Unless this happens, quite embarrassing. We gotta test it out, of course. So we're gonna set the intermission the ticking clock time to like two seconds because we got to test this out and then no one has won and then after three seconds when you get teleported uh okay there so now if you test that out okay round starting in three two one map three why not and then after a second we're gonna get a knife Zero seconds, no one has won. And then your knife gets removed and the round restarts. So that's pretty pogger, right? Now, you have a knife giving system. Now we're gonna go drop back to server script servers. We're here. And we're gonna type, we're gonna rename it to leader stats. And you want to add in a folder with remote events, and then um, add in a remote event, De death, death, just death. But I'm not going to make a kill cam, what we're just going to do is if you die, you're going to get in your screen like you've been eliminated from the game, you're terminated. So now, PLR, that character, character added, colon connect, function char, and then char dot humanoid dot died colon connect function nothing because we don't need a function for that and we can just simply do 
game dot replicator storage dot death uh, remote events dot death dot colon fire client player. Now you want to go to storage or GUI. Make a screen GUI a de death a GUI. Along with a frame, make it completely black along with the border color completely black. Set the border size pixels to 100 because so the top bar gets covered too. Anchor point is 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5. Position is 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0. Easy peasy. Now set the size to 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0. So it's full screen. Now just simply add in a text label. And make it a size 1 by 0 and 1 by 0. Background transparency 1. Text red. Text skilled. I'm going to go off some black walls. Okay, why not? You have been eliminated. Eliminated from the game. Like that. And add in a local script. Local script. Game dot replicator storage. Game replicator storage dot remote events dot death dot on client event comma connect function player. And now uh, all we gotta do is frame script dot parent dot frame dot visible x true, and then wait game dot players dot respawn time because we have a respawn time in our player. In this case, it's five. Is it going to be dot value? No. Respawn time. And then script dot parent dot frame dot visible is to false. Now let's test that out real quick. Remove it. And we got to act quickly though. So I'm going to actually bump it back up to like 15 seconds. And over here, I'm going to bump it up to 60 seconds. Because that's what we do. So now we test our game. Next cat run starting blah 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 blah. Gonna take a while now. Okay. So now if we get over here, we're gonna get a knife and we're gonna reset. Boom. You've been eliminated from the game. We died, but normally you die with a knife. And then Yeah, we gotta bump that up a bit. So instead of this, we're just going to do Wade 7. Play. Finally. And now if we die... Boom. You have been eliminated from the game. And if we respawn. Yep. If we respawn, it'll be gone. We have we don't have our knife anymore. But what we can do in case you actually have it, you scroll down to this section, you copy it, you go to leader stats, and over here you just do this. Like that. So now we gotta make a spectating system. We got, before we do that, over here, local PLR is in game is equals to instance.new, instance.new, bool value into the player. And in this case, it's PLR. Then, PLR is in game, not value, it's equals to false, because if you join, you're not immediately in the game yet, because there will be a current round starting, or there's already a ongoing round. PLR is in game dot name is equals to PLR is in game like that So over here, we're gonna type uh, So if you die then we're automatically gonna set your value to false And it's gonna be player or Value is false because you're not in the game and then you may access it. I believe the client does know I will uh, we'll find out. So you got window, we gotta make a spectating system. Yes, a spectating system. Often legal isn't it? Before we do that, 
over here, once the game is starting, over here we're gonna type player is i dot plr is in game dot value is equal to true. Because if you join the game, it's gonna be set to true. Yes. And over here, um, so once we're reloading, plr dot is in game dot value. PLR dot PLR is in game dot value is to false. Because over here, if you if we're gonna reset the game, you're not in the game, of course. Okay, so we did that. And now uh, if we go to we, okay, we gotta make a thing. So you're gonna copy that. Okay, you can close this over here. Spectate. You can delete that. Add in a text button. And all we're gonna do is text button anchor point point five comma point five position point five comma zero comma point five comma zero and I'm actually gonna bump it up to there. Now just set the text to spectate and rename this to open, copy another one, paste it in, and move it right behind it, and then set it to a logical. Uh, coordination like this and I rename this one to next now add in two local scripts like this in this one we're going to type script parent that mouse button one click click connect function then if script parent dot next dot visible is equal to false then script parent dot next dot visible is equal to true else if Script parent dot next dot visible dot value is equal to true. Then game dot workspace dot camera camera subject is equal to game dot players dot local player dot character. Script dot parent dot next visible is equal to false. Now in the next one, we're gonna type a little longer script. Local player is equal to game dot player dot local player. Then local character is equal to game dot player is colon find first child player dot name. Local camera is equal to game dot workspace dot camera. Number is equal to zero and on is equal to zero. Script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function on is equal to zero. Local players is equals to game the workspace dot game system. We don't even have a game system. Oopsie doopsie. The players in game calling get children. Number is equals to uh, equals to number plus one. If number is equals equals to players plus one, then and then hashtag players number is equals to one. And over here, for i equals one, comma hashtag players do on equals to on plus one. If on is equals equals to number, then camera dot camera subject is equals to players i. And that's your spectating script. Wait, we're not done yet, newbie. Oh no, we're not done yet. Cause all we do is. Uh, we allow it to be visible. Um, it's, it's a false. Let's see. We're going to test it out first. And this one's going to be, of course, next and visible false. But we need two persons. So let's just figure that out. So what we're going to be doing, you're going to copy this in your open script. And then at the top, you're going to type local player. It's equals to game dot player is that local player. And then if player that PLR is in game dot value is equals equals to false, then so we're just checking if you're if you're not in a game, then we're going to run the entire script and else print player is uh, not payer player is in game so we can not we can we cannot execute the current script spectate like that 
Um, I'm gonna open a two-player world and let's test this out. Already, I'm in a two-player world. Sorry, and let's just see if this works. I was about to say, can we assassinate you? Ha 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 ha. So now, because that player will res. Oh, we did not die. Okay, that's because of the knife. And we're relaunching. Map one. Okay, it doesn't really matter. We can teleport it. And now, if this player is just gonna die real quick, he said, "Boof, you've been eliminated." We know. Now, if you look in players, player two. Which player is this? Is player one? PLR is in game. He is not in the game anymore. But if you look in ours. We are! So now, if we try, it doesn't work. Now, if this player tries, it does work, and he can spectate me, because he's not in the game anymore. If we just click it away. So, as you can see, this works. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you did, in fact, enjoy it, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and to turn on that notification bell, please. To get Pogger notifications. If you need any help, join my Discord server down below. My name is Nui, and I say peace out!